Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. What are we testing today? Three guesses. It's Komodo Internet Security Version 8. It's recently been released, their first public beta, and I'll be looking at it to see what are the new improvements and changes that have been made to this fantastic product which I really recommend personally because I've been using this for a long time and it's given me really good results. Now let's get underway and see what Komodo have to offer in their new version. So if you just look at it instantly there is no way to immediately distinguish between this and the previous version. The uh, basic GUI is uh, very similar although this new GUI does seem a bit flatter and more compatible with uh, Windows 8 GUI. However, uh, the layout is still the same, which is something most people usually like. So I don't think there is any reason they need to change this. Now, on the home screen, you've got your real-time protection, check for updates, and you can easily switch to uh, a more detailed mode where you get your antivirus sandbox firewall, and so on and so forth. But um, these are all the things you had in the previous version as well. So the first question, what's new? Well, for that we'll have to dig into the details. So most of the improvements in this version are within the segment of advanced settings. So as you can see, we've got the same layout over here, but the moment we open Defense Plus, we see there's a brand new module under here. So Virus Scope has been taken out of Sandbox and it's got its own separate module now. So Virus Scope can now monitor San, uh, unsandboxed applications. Well, sorry about that. That's not the right way to say it, I guess. It can monitor applications that are not sandboxed. By default, this is not turned on, probably because it might take up a lot of CPU. But if you want, you can just uh, check it out for yourself, which I will be doing in this test. So we will be ma uh, monitoring applications that are not sandboxed as well. So this should give us more of an insight into Viroscope because I've never really seen it in action. Now as far as the sandbox is concerned, it has undergone a huge change as well. Now I'm not sure if this is something to do just with the beta or if this is uh, something that's going to stay, but the sandbox no longer has a manual access specifier. Like uh, we used to have um, uh, a setting where you could manually specify how much a file is restricted and how much access it actually gets. We had categories like partially limited, restricted, untrusted, and fully virtualized. Now as I understand at the present moment I do not see that setting. But instead what they've done is something a little bit smarter. What they've done is they've enabled auto sandbox which means it does an analysis of the file that you execute and based on some parameters like its reputation in the cloud and uh, what its target is it tries to put it under some kind of category. Now you can manually edit these to get much more control but for a regular user this is all you need to know. It's more automated and hence uh, probably easier to use for an everyday user which is a big thing for Komodo because uh, the reason why most people don't like Komodo is that it's very advanced and it's difficult to configure. Now Komodo are moving more and more away from HIPS as far as I can see. Again, HIPS comes disabled by default. I just hope it stays as long as Komodo stays because this is one of my favorite features about Komodo. Maybe this is not the best way for a regular user to protect their computer, but uh, it is great for analyzing malware and for advanced users like me. But um, if you're a regular user, at the moment I do not recommend turning on the hips because you've already got the sandbox and along with Firescope that should be enough zero day protection to protect you without actually making you mad with alerts. Now as far as real time scan is concerned, uh, the engine remains the same so I'm not going to expect too much of improvements in this section. It's probably going to be very similar to the previous version. The signatures uh, are going to be just uh, the way they are. Not too good, not too bad, just around average. Maybe good sometimes. Komodo does impress sometimes with its signatures but not too often. So this is the basic overview of the application. Now as far as I understand there are no other major changes to the user interface but there are a couple of changes under the hood and the biggest one is now it supports hardware virtualization 
So as I understand right now, the future of Komodo is all about virtualization. They're working more and more to get the sandbox to be the ultimate protection for everything. And they're moving away from HIPs and other technologies which we associate Komodo with in the past. So the way I see it, uh, in future versions, we're going to have a much more dynamic and much more automatic and intelligent sandbox. And uh, that will be the biggest uh, technology for Komodo. But that remains to be seen. At the present moment, it's still pretty impressive and they still have HIPs and all their present features intact. So let's give this a quick little test. This will not be like a regular test where I evaluate the product. I'm not going to be doing that because this is an early beta and I'll probably wait till the final version is released before I give it my full review. But in this version, we'll just be running through a short test of about five links and trying to see how the software works in different settings. So first I'll go with the uh, default settings, except the fact that I have Firescope turned on shouldn't be too much of a difference because uh, Firescope is not the most uh, active of features in Komodo. So I've got five links here. Let's see if it can deal with these. Now the first one is a script that opened. However, I'm not sure if it did any damage. We'll find that out later. Now, as you can see, Komodo is uh, fully turned on and up to date. This is their version 8, and you can see that over here. So let's continue with the next link. Okay, this one was blocked by MCSoft. Not what I wanted. Okay, now it's Komodo's turn. Let's see if it can block it. Let's go ahead and run it. And it's being run virtually, so the sandbox has come into play here. I'm a bit surprised um, that this file was not in their signatures. And somehow it has uh, managed to open up Windows Explorer and now it's running some other file. I'll go ahead and run that. This is all being done in the Komodo sandbox. So it's interesting. So we're getting to see a more interesting th test than I expected. Now let's go ahead and try this out. Unfortunately, it looks like this link is dead. Let's try this one. Once again, a download. Let's try running it. And once again, the application is isolated. Now, apart from this file, which had a fairly respectable detection ratio and virus total, most of these have got fairly low detections. Let's try running this. Uh, in fact, it's a PDF. Let's try opening it. And it cannot run on our PC. But uh, I'm sure something happened. And there we go, another process that's being run virtually. This is all automatic. So, we did see some files run. In fact, everything ran, but inside the sandbox. So let's have a quick look. We've got a process here, another process here, and, uh, well, I guess that's about it. So not a lot that the malware did, apparently because it was in the sandbox. But the extent of the damage will be more clear when we do some scans. So I'm just going to let these couple of files run for a, f a few moments and see if Firescope or any other zero day module of Komodo comes up with something. I mean, that's what I'm most interested to test. I'm not here to just run through eight links with high detection ratios and just say, hey, Komodo did great at block seven with its signatures and one with sandbox. The point of this test is to try to figure out how this application is working and because this is a beta test, I'm more interested to know what are the changes and how their new zero day works rather than evaluate this product. So I hope you guys get that. So I don't want this video to be used uh, like a regular review. So I was also hoping they would probably add some more web filtering options, but I guess they haven't done that. Here's some interesting artifact. Maybe this is an issue with the beta. 
or maybe it's just the application running and maybe something got screwed up in the background. Okay, this is interesting. So I'll just uh, pause the video for a moment, let these things run, try to reboot the computer, and then we'll do some quick scans and try to figure out if anything went through. Well, a quick scan from Hitman Pro after rebooting the system revealed a few interesting results. As you can see, uh, we have an executable in a fairly dangerous directory, I would say. Um, it's actually in app data roaming and a folder called system. But the interesting thing is both of these are Trojans and this is another one in roaming. Now, one thing to note here is that none of these are active. They're not active in memory and Hitman Pro has a specific uh, alert if something's active. So these are these are not currently active. So they're basically just files sitting on my hard drive and uh, that is apparently because they were sandboxed. Now I didn't reset the sandbox before doing this uh, scan. So what I want to do now is to um, close Hitman Pro, reset the sandbox and see if that makes any difference. So we'll go ahead and do one more scan with Hitman Pro after resetting the sandbox. It should be fairly quick. And looks like resetting the sandbox did the trick. So that's basically how Komodo works. And this is how they want to work in the future, I'm guessing, because they've added hardware virtualization support right now. So the thing is, Komodo supplement their signatures with their sandbox and at the moment their sandbox is not very um, intelligent it does not know how to distinguish between malware and a clean file it basically relies on their cloud but if they could add some better analyzing algorithms to make the sandbox be able to distinguish more and more malicious files from the uh, normal ones and thus make this program produce lesser false positives, this would well be the future of uh, anti-malware, considering the amount of malware that's released every day. Signatures are not going to do the trick forever. So this is an interesting result, but it's very similar to what you would get with version 7 as well. But uh, the nice thing that we have now is we have an automated sandbox, which was something I was hoping they would have done long back. So now it kind of works like Kaspersky. It puts stuff in uh, categories itself instead of asking you to choose a default category for everything. So they have a few rules here, but I would like these to be improved to be, for these to be more comprehensive so that the sandbox can take more and more intelligent decisions by itself. And that way I think we will have a much more secure and efficient product. Now, at the moment, as I said, this review is not for evaluation purposes, so I kindly request that you do not try to compare this result with other tests because this is entirely different. I was trying to see how the product works rather than test out its prevention capabilities. So as you can see clearly, um, the sandbox is the main player here, but uh, I was a little bit disappointed that the Firescope uh, didn't pop up because the applications did get sandboxed, and I was hoping that Firescope might as well like, pop up on a couple of occasions, but I didn't see anything, so I'm yet unsure about how this module works, and I would like this to be more a part of, uh, more an active part of Komodo in the future because it does seem very interesting dynamically analyzing behavior of running process that is something I would really love to see more of but at the moment this is it hope you guys enjoyed this review um, hope you guys took something away from it hope you guys understood the uh, future of Komodo and the way they're working at the moment uh, hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes myself so if I did anything if I said anything that is not true please let me know correct me in the comments below Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned to the Peace Security channel for more future reviews and videos and giveaways. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you guys later.